So, how does AI in video games work you might wonder? It's actually pretty easy. All we need to do is make the enemy follow some instructions, so let's get started. So right now let's say you have a simple game set up and the enemies have no brain of their own, they only serve as hitting dummies. If you are wondering what happens when they take damage, above you can see the function called every time I attack and I'm in range. I'm getting the player node by going back to the parent which is the world node, then I get the player child of that game, and because the script is attached to the kinematic body I reference that node. The first part calculates the health and sets the color of the health bar, the damage text also uses the same color. The flash function uses a shader to change the color to yellow when hit. And the two paragraphs bellow just to add the text and the blood, which I already have a video on, and should appear as a card in the top right corner. But you don't have to worry about the effects, because they don't affect the AI at all. First of all, to make the enemy move you need to get the direction based on where the character is standing, and when they get close we set it to zero so they stop moving. After that make a function that calculates the velocity like this one, and use it in the physics process. Now this is probably not what you want, adding animation should fix the looks. I handle my animations with animation tree and states, this way there can only be one animation playing at a time. Using transitions, the state jumps from one animation to another. Don't forget to set a starting point, otherwise the animation tree won't start. Currently, when the enemies come close they play the attack animation, but it does nothing. So let's fix that by calling a method track in the animation player. I'm calling the damage function exactly when the characters throws the punch, so the game looks smooth. Now, to make the damage function. First you need to add an area 2D and name it hit range, then add a collision shape which can detect if any bodies overlap. Make sure the body has monitoring and monitorable on. Then go to collision and set it to the same layers as the player. We can modify its position when the animations for left and right are played. So when run right is played, the position of the collision shape x coordinate jumps to plus 10, and when run left is played it jumps to minus 10. Make a function which checks if the enemy is in range. We can do this by checking if any of the bodies that overlap with the enemy's attack hitbox are the player it returns true and breaks the loop, otherwise it returns false. Now, to make the damage function, check if the player's in range. This function calls the player take damage function which is pretty much the same as the one we mentioned before. Now this might look fine, but there is a huge bug which needs fixing. If you stand behind the enemies like this they do nothing and this is not what you want your game to be doing, so let's fix that. By changing this part in the manage animations function, we make it so the enemy must play the run animation if the player is not in range. And in the get direction function, we remove these magic numbers and when we check if the player is not in range it sets the enemy direction depending on the player's position. If the player is in range, it sets direction to zero. Now we can be sure that this will never happen and the player can't abuse that strategy. In other words, we are balancing the game. That's pretty much it. If you have a suggestion on what you want to see next, leave a comment and I'll be glad to make a video on that.